Hey water signs, it's about that time for your reading. So this is going to be your general and financial prediction for December. And this is going to be for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I already uploaded the fire signs. I will upload earth signs next and then air signs. So if this reading doesn't resonate for you, definitely make sure you check out your other placements. Or you can book your personal reading, which is um, in the link in my description box. It's my website. And I have a bunch of different services on there so you can easily book a service. The service that I would recommend is the monthly prediction. It's financial and love. So yeah, definitely make sure you guys check that out. All right, I'm gonna get started. So what is the overall energy of my water signs December? Oh, fire signs got that card too. Fire signs got this first card. So goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finish one part of your life and a new and even better part is beginning. So you're going to be letting things go. And I feel like that is very fitting. Um, I feel like that's actually going to come out for all the signs, to be quite honest, because December is the last month of the year. So, you know, we, everybody, I feel, is letting go of the old and making room for new, whether that be, you know, moving into a new home, selling a car and buying a new car, um, you know, quitting a job and starting a business. Like I just see you letting go of the old, it could even be a love connection, letting go of someone that you know doesn't deserve you and deciding to, you know, um, wait for better as the new year begins. So, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I definitely feel everybody's going to be letting go of the old and bringing in the new. It could be even something as simple as your wardrobe. Like, okay, I'm going to sell all these clothes or I'm going to give all these clothes away and buy a whole new wardrobe throughout the new year. Then the second card is patience, please. What, you, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So your December is all about having patience. It's all about having patience for the things that you want. Just know it is coming. It just won't happen as fast as you wanted to so just know your spiritual team they're working behind the scenes for you god is working behind the scenes for you you know clearing things up opening roads you know removing blockages protecting you as always um the things that you want will happen but it's just a matter of time until it actually happens all righty i already feel like i'm all over the place but it's because I'm drinking coffee and I'm doing so bad because I think it's like 9 or 10 and I'm drinking coffee. So guess who's going to be up damn near all night. <laughs> okay, so for my water signs, give me a general prediction for their December, a general prediction, whatever comes out for their December 2022. Give me a general prediction for my water signs, please. Nope, one card at a time. Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. I see you trying to um, become more at peace with yourself. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys, you guys are... How can I explain it? Trying to come into peace with your appearance or with what you have going on in life. Like, I don't know why I'm getting something about your appearance. So you may be, you know, losing more weight than usual or gaining more weight than usual. You may be developing acne, adult acne. Um, you know, your hair may not be looking the way that you want it to or whatever the case may be. Like, I just see you having to find peace with your appearance. I also see you having to find peace within your uh, family. Hmm. Clarification on the Six of Swords. Six of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords. Mm. This could be family-wise, friend-wise, love-wise. It doesn't have to be love, so, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip it how it needs to be flipped. But, it looks like in December, you're going to have to make peace with someone who betrayed you. Now, with the Page of Pentacles here, it's a possibility this person 
betrayed you in a financial way. Like they might have asked for money and never paid you back. They might have stole money from you. They might have, you know, tried to put you onto an opportunity. But in all reality, they were scamming you. Like it's for some of y'all, it's just simply, you know, you fell off with a friend or a friend or family member betrayed you. And for some odd reason, you're going to have to make peace with that, whether that be forgiving them and you know smoothing things over with them or just simply forgiving them and keeping them at a distance for majority of y'all it's going to be forgiving them and keeping them at a distance with the six of swords here but with the page of pentacles for a small group it's somebody that finessed you it's somebody that finessed you out of money and you're gonna have to make peace with them and i'm not saying make peace as in you know be buddy buddy but make peace as in forgive them for your own sanity forgive them for your own peace of mind What's going on with the Seven of Swords? Tell me. I'm telling you, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, it's money-wise. Somebody might have stole from you or somebody might have, you know, self-sabotaged. Not self-sabotaged, but sabotaged, sabotaged you when it comes to a job or opportunity or a business venture. It's somebody that really screwed you over. And it's like, you know this person screwed you over. That's the thing. With this Seven of Swords, you can see this person, they're literally walking into a trap. And that's exactly what happened in this situation. They walked themselves into a trap. It's like they thought they could get over on you. But in all reality, like they showed their hand, they showed their cards, or they just, they, they were just so damn reckless that, you know, it, the, the truth came to light easily. But I really feel like it's money-wise because... Then the Seven of Swords clarified by the Seven of Pentacles reversed. I feel like this person played with your money. Tell me more about the situation, please. Tell me more about the situation. Be more specific, please. This person may actually reach out to you. I'm telling you, Page of Wands, and then we have the King of Pentacles. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Wands. This person, they may just be the one to reach out to you wanting forgiveness. And the thing is, you need to forgive them, but not for them. You need to forgive them for yourself. You need to forgive them for yourself. Plain and simple. But this is somebody that really screwed you over. And I feel like this person, they're, they're at a, a stable point in their life when it comes to their finances. With the king of pentacles, like that's, that's the king. Not the knight, not the page, that's the king. So I feel like this person, now they're at a financial point and they're realizing like, damn, I didn't even have to do him or her like that. Or, you know, I, I, I should give them money or I should help them out in a way for what I did. It's like, I feel like their guilty conscience is going to get to them or it has already got to them, but they're, they have to build the courage to actually reach out to you and apologize or try to make peace. I feel like I'm not connecting to this specific reading, but you know, this is going to resonate for who it needs to resonate for. Me, I'm not a water sign. I don't have water sign placements. So, you know, this isn't going to, it isn't going to make sense to me and I have to accept that, but this really isn't making sense to me. So if this is your story, please comment below and let me know if this is your story. Because I'm like, huh? Tell me a little more about this situation, please. And then I'm going to go into the finances. Yeah, this is somebody that you knew for a while. With the Six of Cups here, this could be like a childhood friend or like a, a high school sweetheart or um, it's just somebody that you knew for a while. Or it could even be, like I said, a family member that you grew up with. But this is definitely not somebody that, you know, you just met recently and you guys became the best of friends and then they finessed you. No, this is somebody that you've known for a while, possibly since since kids or since your teenage years. This is definitely somebody who has been in your life in a while. And I feel like that's why it's emphasizing that you need to forgive this person. Once again, not for them, but for you. It's like you may be dwelling on it, dwelling on how your friend could do that to you or how your family member could do that to you or how your lover of many years could do that to you or whatever the case may be. And it's like you may be dwelling on it a tad bit too much. And that may be one of the goodbye to the old and hello to the new make peace with the old so you can bring in new you know people into your life or whatever like you just have to forgive this person for your own sake for your own sanity hmm all righty all right let's get into your finances 
make sure you guys hit that like button please and thank you please and thank you that will help with the algorithm that will help me with getting more exposure to my channel so definitely make sure you guys hit that like button please Okay, so for my water signs, Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their financial prediction for December? What is their financial prediction for December? Don't let love or a relationship distract you. Do not, do not, do not. Do not, do not, do not. Some of y'all may be like, I don't know why, but I'm feeling a new energy. I feel like this may be someone new that you're going to meet. So I'm going to read it both ways. This could be somebody that you're currently with or somebody that you just recently separated from. Do not allow yourself to get distracted. Do not allow them to distract you from work, from opportunities, from business ventures. Do not allow them. Because even with this person, you can see it's a bunch of different pinnacles. This person grabbed one and they're already walking away. Where are you going? Grab the rest. Where are you going? Like, I feel like this person is going to distract you. Now, if this is someone new, once again, don't allow yourself to be distracted by this person. Clarification on this King of Wands. What is he doing here? The Chariot. Sagittarius Cancer Energy. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Who is this person? Hmm. King of Wands, Chariot, Empress. This is definitely somebody that you're interested in or that you will be interested in. And I feel like this, I feel like you're at the point in your life where you want something serious and something committal. With that Empress card there, you want something committal. You want someone that you can start a family with. You want someone that you can marry, that you can, you know, own, own a home with. Like, you want someone that you can build a future with. Especially with this Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands damn near represents, you know, a wedding ceremony. Like, I feel like this is what you want from someone. And I feel like you want it so bad that you're going to distract yourself from your finances chasing that or going after that or searching for that. Clarification on the Four of Wands, please. Page of Wands. I'm telling you, I feel like you're going to meet someone new, but you're going to allow them to distract you. In December, I feel like you are going to allow them to distract you. Tell me more. Tell me more. Give me a financial prediction for December for my water sign, please. Make it more specific. I feel like I'm not connecting to this reading. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Okay, I see what's going on. So you're going to be interested in this person. And don't get me wrong. This person is going to be interested in you too. Like I said, I feel like this is someone new. So I'm going to read it as someone new. But this could most definitely be someone from your past that you're separated from or somebody that you're currently with. And if that's the case, you know, fit what I'm saying into your situation. But I'm going to read it as someone new. I feel like you're going to meet someone, possibly a fire sign because there's a, there's a lot of fire energy here. Um, but I feel like you're going to meet someone new in December and you are, this is basically going to be somebody that you can see yourself with. Like you can see yourself long-term with this person, but I see they're going to be interested in you as well, but it looks like they're going to be very, uh, how can I say it? Like they're going to have their wall up. They're going to have their wall up. They're going to be very guarded. Of themselves like they are very guarded and I see that's why the storyline is basically stating that you need to not get distracted from your finances in December like this is basically advice rather than a financial reading it's basically advice regarding your finances don't allow this love connection to distract you like I feel like you're gonna have to or you're not I feel like you're gonna choose to 
I feel like you're going to choose to basically run through hoops and do this and do that to show this person that you can be trusted and show this person that you like them and that you want to pursue them and you want to see where things can go with them. Like, I feel like you're going to have to do the absolute most to get in this person's good graces or to get this person to open up to you. And as you're doing the most, that's taking your time and energy from your finances for this person. So your advice is literally, don't be out here freaking slacking off, okay? Don't be slacking off. Focus on your finances. You know, you can just at least find balance. At least find balance. Split it equally. But don't just sit there and ignore your work or your businesses or your opportunities and your internships and this and that. Or someone that's basically making you chase them. Because that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this person is going to make you chase them. This person is basically going to make you prove yourself to them. And I don't like that. What else can you tell me about their financials for December? What can you tell me about their finances for December? My water signs. Ooh, money is going to be coming in. If you don't allow this person to distract you, money is going to be coming in. But if you allow this person to distract you, your money is going to be going under <laughs> with that Three of Pentacles in reverse. That Three of Pentacles in reverse, I'm not liking it at all. Queen of Swords reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse here? Watch how you speak with other people at work as well. Watch how you speak with other people. I feel like there's somebody in your workplace an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, that is going to get under your skin and you are going to want to violate them. Like, you're going to want to just completely disrespect them. But you got to keep yourself from doing so. Please. You have to think logically. And I'm not saying bite your tongue. I'm not saying bite your tongue at all. But, you know, sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So you can express your anger to this person, you can express your frustration, but just at least do it in a way that you're not disrespecting them. You can speak your speak your peace, you can speak what's on your mind without it being disrespectful. So just focus on that. I also feel like it's going to be like a higher up, like a boss, a supervisor. So just be careful. But I see money coming in with that Ten of Pentacles. You may get a bonus, and I know, you know, some jobs do that, Um, like as... As the end of the year or new year or however you want to put it. But I know some people or even the holidays actually. Like a holiday bonus. Um, I just see money coming in. So it may be a holiday bonus. It could be, you know, you working overtime. You working holiday hours and getting, you know, extra money. Um, I just see extra money coming in. Like a, a nice large sum of money. And make sure you don't share that with people. With the three of pentacles in reverse, don't be out here, you know, making money and then deciding, oh, yeah, let me blow it on the people around me. Like, of course, help the people that helped you if it's needed. You know, spoil the people that spoiled you, but don't run yourself dry trying to, like, take care of everybody around you or trying to do for everybody around you. Please don't do that. Now, I'm going to pull some advice for you guys and then I'm going to end this reading off. Once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. Let me get some advice from our water signs, please, for their December. For the month of December, let me get some advice from our water signs. Something they need to hear, something they need to know, something they need to take heed of. Okay. Be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. Hmm. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. So I feel like this month, make sure you're not just making up assumptions and running with it. Make sure you ask people and you know it's all up to them if they decide to sit there and lie to you or not. But don't just assume something and just run with it like as if it's the truth because that's just it's going to cause confusion it's going to cause inner turmoil it's going to cause issues between you and that person or that situation so don't assume make sure you ask questions and like i said if that person lies god knows all god sees all and god will reveal the truth sooner or later so just know that but don't take something and run with it just make sure you know you ask questions you ask for the truth 
But this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.